so I'm happy to see I'm happy to see Jada moving around I didn't film anything we're in the vet now um we were literally leaving outside the camper to go to the restroom and the neighbor's dog he got loose off of the chain and he attacked Jada um the owner literally had to jump on top of that other dog and hold him down and pry his mouth open he had Jada by the abdomen gotta go so um the doctor just left out they're gonna do the x-ray just to humor me um the owner of the dog who bit Jada baby um he actually drove us here um so he's gonna take care of everything and we're gonna get the x-ray done she does have marks on her on her belly on her shoulder and uh they said it's gonna bruise pretty badly so she'll be given medication you know for pain management for inflammation antibiotics type stuff um the dog is a rescue but he's up to date on his shots and all of that stuff um so yeah just yeah this was a lot but she'll be fine jada baby you're okay they said the x-rays were good to go you gonna say it to your friends i know it's a lot it is a lot sweetheart Um, I was able to wash the dishes and everything and it took about an hour or so and her medicine was starting to kick in I could see that um, she was resting a bit and it's starting to get dark and I wanted to go ahead and take her out so we could like walk in the daytime and I just wanted to like check and make sure there's like no blood or anything in her you know when she goes to the restroom and there wasn't so the doc said everything is okay I'm just still shaking up a bit and honestly I don't want to close my eyes for an extended period of time because like literally I can just see everything replaying in my head and I felt so like useless you know at that time um, the only thing I had on me was like pepper spray you know like yeah maybe I could have pepper sprayed the dog um, but you know it's like so yeah um, my brain my mind is like fried because that was that was a lot but uh Jada's doing good so I'm happy about that when this incident happened I wasn't in film mode and re-watching the footage I left out some information and I want to make it clear what took place before people start talking crazy in the comments so last week's video left off with Jada playing fetch without a leash on in our campsite the site to the right of us was empty and the site to the left of us was occupied but they didn't have any pets and was okay with Jada playing fetch off leash. The dog attack happened the very next day. A new person moved in and they had a lab pit mix who they kept on a leash that was stuck into the ground. And for some reason, when me and Jada walked out of our home, she was leashed by the way, the dog maybe got spooked or something and he came over to our campsite and went straight for Jada. If you haven't noticed by now, our door is to the rear and maybe us coming out of that way kind of threw the dog off, but for whatever reason, he broke free and attacked. My keys do have pepper spray on them, but they got dropped during the whole ordeal. And I tried stomping on that dog, but my stupid Crocs probably felt like marshmallows to it. The owner did jump on top of the dog and pried his mouth open. He also drove us 45 minutes to the hospital, paid for Jada's visit, her medication, and left his business card plus a Target gift card on my window the next morning before he left. Although this incident happened last month, I still hate thinking about it. And as of today, 14 February, Jada has healed physically, but she now has more active dreams and is a little spooked by the sound of large dog barks and prefers to just stay away from them. 
I think she now has PTSD, unfortunately. Hey, welcome to my channel, Where is Brittany? I'm Brittany, and I travel full-time on the road with my fur baby Jada in this RPOD 153. We initially started our travels in my self-converted schoolie named Domino, but with mechanical issue after mechanical issue, it was time to put her in storage and purchase something more reliable. And now I have Tia and Tamara, aka Sister Sister. Join me as I save up to purchase my dream land and navigate life as a solo female traveler. Hey my friends, it is a new day. We're about two days post um, dog attack bite. And Jada is like up and down and stuff like that. She still has like these bursts of energy like spurts. And uh, you know, I'll play with her and then you know, the pain kicks in and she's like, okay, I need to like chill out. And she'll allow herself to chill out. In a quarter mile, turn right onto US 41 North, US 441 North. Yes, so we are on our way into town. We have like a 30 minute drive. Um, a lot of the campsites in Florida do not have a gray and black tank like sewer hookup. So I'm going to Camping World to purchase one of those. Turn right onto US 41 North, US 441 North. Okay, so going into town um, to get one of those portable uh, tank holders. Uh, so I'll be able to just like have one of those and then attach it to the back of the Jeep and then take it to the dump station that's in the campground. Yeah, so we're gonna do that and then I pre-ordered some groceries from Publix to pick up and I'll be doing that as well and then going to visit like the fruit and bakery section to pick out a few extra things. But Jada baby, she's with me. Um, she can go with me inside Camping World and I don't plan to be inside of Publix for too long. I just keep the car running <laughs> and lock it and she's good to go inside. So, yeah. They brought it out to me, y'all. This thing is so big. And I have to figure out how I'm going to lug this thing around because we just don't have the space for it right now. Ain't that right, Jada Baby? Yeah, I know. Alrighty, my friends. Today is a day of a different type of adventure. I have three or four nights, I can't remember, left at the campground that I'm at right now. And I still need to find a place to stay. <laughs> this has been so stressful like I've been I've had the worst service um, I'll show you what the campground looks like where I'm at and my Starlink is just not working um, so it's just been really hard to try and find different places and to communicate with people on Facebook marketplace so today I'm actually gonna go check out two RV resorts um, I never really wanted to do like an RV resort or anything like that because the campsites are literally right on top of each other and stuff and I don't feel like I have like a, a bit of privacy but I'm coming up close here and I'm getting desperate <laughs> so today is going to be a day of adulting here in the space and I have Jada Baby with me everywhere we can go is dog friendly so <sighs> let's get to driving. have a nice bath house like it is a, it's a nice quiet campground come on Jody baby also because it's off season and the spaces are pretty nice but I just still <laughs> the price range is too much for me so we're gonna go to the next one found our spot I'm not gonna tell you guys where it's located obviously <laughs> because I'll be here for I think like three months um, but y'all I like it it's small quiet clean they're doing so many different upgrades which is why they have the prices lowered at the moment um, 
but nobody's like over where I'm at. And there's laundry, there's a bathhouse, and they're full hookup. And I also get a military discount, y'all. So, excuse me, I think it was like $5.50 a month plus electricity. And they said for like me, it'll be maybe like $30 a month for electricity. So, this is it, y'all. I can, I can take a sigh of relief because this was just pointing on me hardcore. So, I'm about to check out the bathrooms. I'm gonna put Jada Baby up. And All we really have is time. All you ever do 